So in today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating step-by-step -step how to install Calyx OS on a supported Android device. In this video, I'm going to be using a Pixel 5, but this will work on any devices that are supported by Calyx. It's important to note before we begin that this process will erase all data on your device, so please make sure you have a backup of whatever you want to keep before we begin. And lastly, do you know what kind of doctor fixes websites? A URL just. <laughs> So the first thing we want to do is head on over to calyxos.org. Down below I'll have a link to my website that'll have all of the links and commands used in this video so you can reference those or copy and paste them from there. You might notice a weird border around my screen recording. That's because I'm running this from a virtual machine. This is something you should not do, but it makes it easier for this demonstration. So once you get to calyxos.org, go ahead and click the big green get calyxos in the right hand corner. On this page, select the device you're installing this on. As I said earlier, I'm using a Pixel 5, but the other devices supported are down here. We're installing this from Linux. This first section goes over some terminology. I'm not going to cover this in the video, but you should probably go ahead and read this before you do begin. And the first step we are going to do is prepare your Android device. So let's bring up the phone that we're using. First thing we're going to do is swipe up, go into settings. Just for clarification, this is a default install of Android. I haven't made any other changes except installing it and going through the initial setup. So the first part here, we can see enable developer options. We're gonna scroll down, go to about phone, scroll down to the bottom, tap on build number seven times. Once you see you are now a developer, we can go ahead and click the back button. Next step is to enable USB debugging. This time select system. Select developer options, scroll down. Once you see USB debugging, go ahead and enable that. Do you want to allow? Yes, click OK. And the last part is enable OEM unlocking. So on that same page, scroll up, enable OEM unlocking, click enable. They do have a disclaimer on the site. This step might fail if there's no internet connection. In that case, connect to a Wi-Fi network or remove the SIM card and then try again. It also might fail if you have a Verizon Pixel. They lock the bootloaders on those devices and OEM unlocking is not supported. So if you do have a Verizon Pixel, go ahead and list that on eBay, Craigslist, or wherever else you sell stuff and get rid of it. So now that we have our device ready for this process, the next step is to prepare your host computer. So I'm demonstrating this on an Ubuntu machine. So we're going to use the Debian, Ubuntu, and derivatives option. If you're using something else, go ahead and use one of those. So to actually install these, we need to open up Terminal. Search for Terminal, click on Terminal. Your terminal should look something like this. So the first thing they want us to do is run sudo apt update. This just updates your local repositories. Type in your admin password, give that a minute to complete. Once that finishes, I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this command from the web page. Hit enter. And now the last package we need to install is ADB, which stands for Android Debug Bridge. It's not listed on this site, but I was messing around with this process for a couple hours yesterday. Couldn't get the phone to connect to the computer, but once I installed that, everything worked as expected. So to install that, we're going to type sudo apt install ADB. Hit enter, give that a minute to complete. Do you want to continue? Go ahead, hit enter, because yes, I do. And now once that finishes, we are ready to move on to the next step. So on here we can see the next part is to download device-flasher. Go ahead and click on that button. Once you see this pop up, go ahead and click OK. This next step is optional. This is just to verify that our download was not corrupted and then we actually have the correct file. So you can skip this, but I'm gonna demonstrate it just for this video. So the file went to our downloads folder. So cd tilde forward slash downloads. Once you get there, run ls. We can see device flasher, which is the file we just downloaded. So sha. 256 sum, device flasher, enter. And we can see here the hash of the file matches the hash on calyxos.org. So once you have that step completed or skipped it, we can now download the factory image. So for that, go ahead and click on download calyxos. Once this pops up, 
select save file not open with click OK. This file is 1.5 gigabytes in size so the download time may vary depending on your connection speed. So once that's completed, we're going to verify the digest again for the Redfin factory image that we just downloaded. We're going to clear the terminal quick. If we do ls, we can see redfin-factory. Again, SHA-256 sum. Redfin factory, hit enter. This one takes a little bit longer since the file is much larger than the last one. So give that a minute to complete. Once that does complete, we can see 9668 CAF. That does match what the hash is listed as on calixos.org. So now we have the image downloaded, we have the flasher downloaded. So the next optional step is to verify the image signature. I'm actually not going to do that in this video. So now that we're gonna skip that, the next part is to install Calyx OS. So screen recording is not available when you are flashing a new OS to your phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch my camera to my phone screen. And we are back. So the first part here we can see, connect the USB cable between the computer and Android device. I went ahead and did that already. So the next part is run device flasher. So open terminal, should have that open already. I'm gonna go ahead and clear this again. LS to make sure we see the file. First part is to make device flasher executable. So for that chmod plus x device flasher dot Linux, enter. And the next part is to actually run device flasher. So dot forward slash device flasher, hit tab to autocomplete, enter. We can see it's extracting the Calyx OS image, downloading some other software it needs. This process will take a minute to complete. So you might need to verify that your phone is unlocked, but once you do, you should see a pop up saying allow USB debugging. This is just to allow our computer to talk to the phone via USB. Once you see that pop up, go ahead and select always allow from this computer and then click allow. So this part's just a reminder to complete the steps that we already did. So make sure you did them and followed the instructions previously. Once you confirm that you have, go ahead and click enter. So in order to confirm that your device was detected successfully, as long as you see something underneath devices to be flashed, that means your phone was detected. So we can see that my phone was detected. Go ahead and hit enter. At this point, you should see the word locked in green on your screen. That means the bootloader is locked. Sorry, the camera's out of focus. Should be good in a moment. Once the screen changes to this, you need to use the up or down volume button on your phone to change it to unlock the bootloader. Once you see that, press the power button to select that option. Give this a moment for this process to complete. And now once you successfully unlock the bootloader, we can confirm that by seeing the red text on the screen showing unlocked. The process will automatically move on to the next step of actually flashing the OS to the phone. So it's important to note that while the OS is being installed on your phone, you might see the screen change or flash, different things like that. Go ahead and just leave it. Don't press any buttons. It could mess up the install process. Once the install has completed, we will see something in the terminal window that tells us to take further action. So at this point, the install has completed. We can see the instructions on the screen again in terminal. Please use the volume and power keys on the device to lock the bootloader. Same process as we used previously to unlock the bootloader, we're going to use to lock the bootloader. So use the volume up or down key to change the selection from do not lock the bootloader to lock the bootloader. Once you have that selected, use the power button to select that. Give the process a moment to complete. And we can now see device state is green locked. The bootloader has been successfully locked. We can see in terminal the install has completed. The phone will now automatically reboot. And our last step will be to disable OEM unlocking from developer options after setting up your device. And now we can walk through the initial setup. Go ahead and select next on the screen. Language, next. Change the time zone to whatever yours is. Click next. I'm gonna skip adding a Wi-Fi network. Click next. I don't have a SIM card, so I'm gonna click skip. Unselect location services if you want. I'm not gonna set up a fingerprint, so I'm gonna skip that. I'm gonna skip pin code, but you should set this up on your device. So here we have Micro G services, and this basically emulates Google Play services without actually having Google Play installed. 
You can disable this if you want, but the point of installing Calyx OS is that this comes bundled. So if you don't want to enable Micro G, there's other ROMs out there that I think are better suited for privacy. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this enabled. This next screen is just some additional apps. You can scroll through and install them if you'd like. I'm going to unselect them all just so this goes a little bit quicker. I'm not restoring from a backup, so I'm going to go ahead and click skip. And then lastly, click start. You should now see the default wallpaper for Calyx OS. And as the instructions stated, we need to go and disable OEM unlocking from developer options. So we're going to swipe up, go into settings, scroll down, click about phone, scroll down, tap build number seven times. You are now a developer. Click back, system, advanced, developer options. And it looks like OEM unlocking is already disabled. USB debugging is disabled. So at this point we have successfully installed Calyx OS on our Pixel device.